This camera? This, this? Yeah, yeah, this camera. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Hi, everybody. My name is Mike. I'm the new guy at Brick Vault. You may have noticed that there have been some changes in the latest episodes. Uh, That's, that's my thing, uh, so Jack is a bit um, crazy about it, but anyway, I'm the new guy here and today is my first review, so bear with me, I'm gonna try to make it look cool. But I probably won't, so let's get started. Before anyone asks, I'm from the beautiful country of Poland, Central Europe, that's where, I, where my accent is from, so I hope you guys are okay with that. And today I have something special to build. I'm really excited to get this done. It's gonna be the Palace Cinema Creator Set. A very big modular set and I'm really looking forward to having this added to our city. This set is recommended for ages 16 plus. It's set number 10232 and it has 2194 pieces. Include our six mini figs and we have one massive classic looking cinema set. Most creator sets come in three stories, but this one comes with two stories as we have a nice big room for showing the movies. And I do like the number of details in this set, so I just cannot wait to get this done. Alright, let's see how many bags are inside. Alright, we've got a bunch of bags here labeled from number one, number three, there's a lot going on here. We also have some 10 base plates, a smaller 10 base plates as well, and a one big red base plate as well as the manuals, which come with like a small piece of cardboard. And I believe that's two quite thick manuals and some sticker action with the posters going on. Alright guys, that's about it. I'm really excited to get this build started right now. That's my thing. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna put it, put it. Yeah, whatever. Let's get started.
right, the set is finished and it is one magnificent looking build. I do love the level of details going on here, especially those posters, those details on the wall and all those accessories we have. The designers use some really clever connection points to get all those angles right and it makes the entire theater look very grandeur. The whole building closely resembles the TCL Chinese Theater located in Los Angeles, California, a place famous for its rich history and close connection to the Oscars, which nowadays are held next door at the Dolby Theater. The front facade with the enormous sign with the theater name almost makes the building tower above all the other buildings. And as we look at the front section of the set, many of you may recognize those fancy stars on the sidewalk. That's right, those are the stars from the Walk of Fame in Hollywood, Los Angeles, California. But instead of having famous people names on them, we have a nice little print for a one by one brick. There are also a few small accessories present here, we have those nice black bars for setting up the queues for the theater, two big spotlights and a nice little build for a lamppost. The build for the spotlights is simple yet effective. We have some grey pieces going on here as well as some silver dishes and a big transparent dish for the light itself. As the building theme is placed somewhere in the 60s, I believe these spotlights may be the same ones that were used actually in the World War II for spotting enemy aircraft. What also grabs attention here is this nice build for a lamppost. It consists of only three pieces, one big mold and just a simple transparent piece and a white dish. The entire theater must look great at night cause not only we have those spotlights, we also have some smaller lamps and all these small detailed items surround this one big build for what appears to be an old school cinema name sign. It has a lot of those yellow lines around it and I believe if you light it up, it makes it look epic for a big premiere night. It has this neat combination of light blue and white bricks which form the word palace, that is the name of the cinema we have here. We also have some stickers here, one with the title of the movie that plays in the theater right now and some stickers telling the prices of the tickets and the showtimes for the movie. All in all the palace cinema just became one of my favorite creator sets, main reason being the number of details that just work together so well. Alright, so now it's time to take the building apart and see what's inside. Let's start from the roof here. As in any other creator series building, it's very easy to take each floor off. Now as I take a closer look at the front section of the roof, I have to say it's one of the nicest looking parts of the entire set. And I think it is quite obvious that the designers were trying to resemble the look of the famous TCL Chinese theater located in Los Angeles, California. The major elements or sections of this building that give it easily away is this inverted arc in the front, the gong and some black ornaments that stick here and there. The central window is a great match as well. We also have some very iconic angles that make up the shape of this roof and if you compare it to the real thing, it's very very close. It is also worth mentioning those nice tile side panels that are angled using a simple Technic piece rotation pins. I think that with such a simple build, these panels nicely finalize the overall look of the roof. Now if we move towards the general surface of the roof, we can see a simple build of roof access door. One disappointing fact here is that besides the door, the roof is completely barren. I think the creators could have added some details here, maybe a chimney or a ventilation fan. Anyway, it would look much better with some additional equipment. And now moving on downstairs from the roof, we have the creme de la creme or from French creme de la creme, pardon my French. The main feature of the entire building, which is the theater room itself. What is cool about this room is that we have this old school film projector that sits on what I believe operator's pedestal. We also have two rows of nice reclining seats facing a very old school style movie screen with those nice curtains. And playing what seems to be a black and white musical featuring this famous actress mini figure, as the sign in the front says. Unfortunately there is not much else going on in this room, but I think it's okay since the main purpose of this room is to just show movies and accommodate guests. Alright, moving forward down the staircase here, we can go to the first floor. And boy, there is a lot happening here. We have a nice build for black stairs with some curved pieces at the very bottom, along with a small plant. The nice feature is that the entire floor is red, just as a red carpet. It's not a custom brick, it's just the base plate that is red. We have those nice three lamps that probably make a great atmosphere for a theater floor once dimly lit. And on the front wall here we have some nice ticketing stand with two registers, an attendant and some nice light blue counter. There is also a small plant pot on the counter. And what grabs attention is those small windows for selling tickets for the people outside. That's a really nice touch and I do love how it turned out. 
Moving on across the room, we have the concession stand where you can get your popcorn, candy, sodas, whatever you need. We have a nice candy jar, we have some soda machine in the bag and what I believe to be a small fridge. Maybe for some ice cream or ice for the drinks. Below that there are a few simple pieces representing all the colorful candy. And also you can see some semi-transparent jars on the far side of the counter. What is unique for this build and just tells immediately that this is a movie theater not any other building are those really cool posters on the wall by concessions. We have some maybe recognizable, maybe not movies here, there is a forever sorting movie, well um, that's what we do all day every day. There is mystery on the monorail, which is really cool if you consider that there was a monorail set from Lego a few years back. And the last one, which seems to be the most unique, is the Brick Separator movie poster, which shows a brick separator kind of monster destroying the entire city. There are actually two cool easter eggs going on along with this poster. The first one is that there was a small promotional set, namely the double decker bus that was holding the stickers with the same movie title on it. And there is also the fact that this set comes with a brick separator in green that resembles the color of the monster on the poster. Haha, <laughs> monster on the poster, that rhymes. All the posters are stickers and they are also visible in the front of the building on the very same windows. The last great thing to mention in this very first floor is the build for the main door. These are not some generic Lego doors, this is an entirely custom build for an enormous glass door and each wing can open separately, providing a great wide entrance to the theater. I also like the fact that a piece of sidewalk just adjacent to the theater is actually in burgundy color, not the grey sidewalk as we are used to which also works with the fact that this theater is probably an upscale place that holds all these cool Hollywood or Legowood, I don't know, premieres. All in all we have some great use of colors here, there is this burgundy, there is brown, there is even gold on number of pieces, there is some great use of grey color visible and also dark and light tan. To wrap it all up, let's say a few words about the minifigs. The first one to the left is the chauffeur. He is dressed up in a nice suit or perhaps a smoking, he's very elegant and comes together with a classic limousine. The car itself is almost entirely black and looks great. It has no roof, but I'm not sure if it's a convertible. The front lights section has this enormous grill with a cool looking build for a hood with cooler cap on top. We also have a simple bumper, the same one as in the tail lights section. There is a divider in the middle, dividing the chauffeur from the passenger, a golden ventilation port and a very simple build for a windshield with side mirrors. A very fancy car, perfect for driving a VIP to the movie premiere. And back to the minifix, next in line we have a concessions worker or perhaps a theater crew member. He has a blue cap, a striped shirt and a print for a bow tie. Next to him is who I believe to be the theater manager or perhaps a concierge that sells tickets for the guests and serves their needs. I do like his torso print with this very elegant suit and some chain, perhaps a watch chain sticking from his pocket. He also has a very nicely molded hairpiece and what is quite unique, white hands which represent his white gloves. And you can also see a small imprint for his suit on his back to finish off his look. There is also a minifigure for maybe a theater guest or even a movie star. She has a great looking piece for her hair and a very detailed imprint on her torso and on her back. This print may even represent a corset. Included is also a very well dressed child and a photographer or even a paparazzi with a classic camera piece. He has a tie, a black vest and a really good looking hat that makes him closer in look to perhaps Indiana Jones. Alright, I think now is the time to take this set to the city and just see how great it looks along all the other buildings. We prepared some space on the corner here and we really want this building to finish this nice line of modular sets we have in the first row of the city. It looks great, it feels great, it's one of my favorite sets as I mentioned. And speaking of that, I just cannot wait for our city to be complete. Right now we have just finished the first row of the creator buildings, we're gonna go towards the middle of the city and we are really looking forward to showcase all the progress on the city through the episodes we have planned for the future. Alright guys, I believe that's a wrap for the episode. As you can see our city is constantly growing and we just cannot wait to add more stuff to it. And yeah, thank you guys for watching, if you want to buy the set remember to click the link in the video description description below. If you like our content, remember to subscribe and I hope to see you all again on Brickball.